Hi everyone. How are you guys doing? I wanted to talk with you about Jackie Lacey. Um, I believe there was something else regarding her I wanted to talk to you about, which I'll, I'll try to see if I can find it. But, um, you know, I have my skepticism about this district attorney um, because she has two heads. From what, I've, from what I understand and have seen, is, you know, the, she has loyalty, she's had loyalty for Scientology for quite some time, meaning they've been able to kind of run this city with gang stalking, having corrupt private investigators stalk. It's kind of like Antifa. They, they do the same thing to people throughout the city. They have targets, and the police allow it. The police tamper and destroy evidence when it comes to it working against Scientology gang stalking. And for a long time, the police are have not only been involved, but our, our governors and our mayors. And uh, there's businesses in my community that they've been told we're Scientology, we're doing this, don't say nothing, the police knows, don't tell nobody. When they're stalking people at businesses. Um, so nonetheless, the reason I bring this up is because District Attorney Jackie Lacey, her husband was charged with pulling a gun on protesters in Los Angeles. And this happened back on May 2nd, Mr. Lacey, 66 years old, had pointed a gun at demonstrators who protested outside his house um, in the evening or, or, or before dawn. And he said, I will shoot you. He, he got a gun, went out there and said, I will shoot you. And Jackie Lacey apologized, saying that her husband had in fact told her that he told them uh, to leave, holding the gun. Now, at the same time, The reason I, I feel this is happening to Jackie Lacey is because when you, when the police department and our, our governor and our mayor are in bed with Scientology, because they're all traffickers, they allow trafficking for celebrities and stuff. And, you know, Scientology, they're, they're ran by the mob, they're corrupt traffickers. You know, when they fund our police and they schmooze our police and our, our chief of police or, and, 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 you know, Jackie Lacey, when, when, they, when they do that and you make a pact with Scientology, you better honor that communist cult pact. Because if, if, if we got 300 people within our government who have a pact with Scientology that allows Scientology to commit crimes and the police are going to sweep it under the carpet and the DA isn't going to isn't going to prosecute because they're in cahoots they're in bed with Scientology the cult ran by communists and you break that oath or you do things that weaken that oath that pact. When you make a pact with Scientology, you just sold your life to the devil. They're going to come after you. And there's people in the media, in the media that say, oh, Jackie Lacey, Lacey she's a law-abiding district attorney. No, you're not. No, you're not. 
what you did was you bit you bit two sides of the stick you bit the law abiding side of the stick which which was to be a law abiding fair district attorney right and you failed you failed that end of the stick because you and a bunch of people here in California are in bed with the cult of Scientology. And you guys aren't allowed to even make... When I make a police report, it gets, it gets edited. Or, or, or it, it, the cops don't want to talk to the media about it being a Scientology police report, even though there may be video. They protect their their their, their best their, their self interest their interests here with with criminality here in Los Angeles big time. And Jackie Lacey bit one side of the stick where she was going to be law abiding, and then she went along with the criminal, you know, political interest, self interest. She bit that end of the stick with the cult. And they all made a call. There's an oath where they don't prosecute people in Scientology. You don't even start an investigation into that cult because they're going to come for you. Now, when the communists come for you, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. When the communists come for you, they're not going to knock on your door and say, oh, remember when you told us? You were with us for life, and then you prosecuted one of our own? Well, we're here for you. They're never going to say that. What they're going to say is, oh, you allowed a black person to die. Uh, this person got shot and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you didn't do nothing about it, or you, you didn't handle it correctly. It, they're going to use that script so they can get people riled up to become gang stalkers, assaulters, to come after you. They're gonna pay those gang stalkers. They're gonna tell those gang stalkers, those people who are gonna assault you, and stalk you, sit outside your house. They're gonna tell them, oh, you know, we're doing this because we're doing a peaceful protest because they allowed this black person to get shot. They didn't handle the case right. This is how sick these communists are. They're the most racist people in the world. But to get to own the bodies and the mind of these Black Lives Matter people, they're going to brainwash them with lies and they're going to pay them. So, you know, Jackie Lacey is caught between, what is it, a rock and a hard place? Because police aren't supposed to prosecute or have an invest investigation open to Scientology. And there's, a, not just me, this has happened to. Leah Remney made a police report and was checking in on it regarding David Miscavige's wife disappearing. Well, they gave her, they just, gave her the runaround. But I gotta say, you know, for someone that has money, at least they gave her the runaround a little longer than what they did me. With me, they wouldn't discuss my case in depth. They lied to me. They tampered with evidence. When I, when I, with one of my assaults, my other assault, two blocks from my house, that put me in crutches. And the week before that, I was threatened they were going to break my neck. Scientologists, stalkers. Uh, the cop lied to me saying he took the police report. He never took the police report because when I called back and gave the number, it had nothing to do with that, that day and what happened. He, he, so these cops lied. They, they're, they're under oath, some type of. You, you could say it's gang-related oath. These, these, these cops here in L.A. are more gangster than the Bloods and Crips. You know why? Because you got a communist cult, Scientology, that runs this city. 
And Jack DA, or DA Jackie Lacey, made a huge mistake by pledging to be law-abiding and then getting in bed with, with, with this all Scientology cult. So now they're after her. And so people who are selfish like this not only hurt your citizens, but you piss the hell out of your communists, your, your friends, your little partners in crime that you're supposed to protect. They're supposed to control this city, do what they want in the name of communism. And you let both parties down. Let, you, you let the communist, communist Scientology cult side down and you, let, you definitely let the law abiding side of, of what you're supposed to be down. <laughs> and you know, they're going to kill her. And you know why she hasn't made a decision with Masterson's case? Why Jackie, Jackie Lacey has slow rolled the Masterson case in her office for almost two years, if not if it hasn't been over two years now. Why the indecision? Why can't Jackie Lacey, district attorney, stop riding the fence and make a decision? Because she ain't doing her job. And so when there's other other media outlets saying she's law abiding, no, she's not. And you're not either, because you're in bed with the communism. So she was someone who made a pact, and she 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 did she she did the wrong thing. She let that case go into court. And listen, Jackie Lacey was elected to make hard decisions, and yet she refuses refuses to do so in Masterson's case. Um. Now, at one point, I believe she did make a decision to probably have him prosecuted. In fact, let me just double check. I'm pretty sure he got prosecuted. I'm pretty sure he got, he got, uh, You know, she charged Masterson on June 18th of 2020. So she, I don't know how she's going to make up for that with, with the cult of Scientology. I don't know how she's going to make up with that. But for a long time, she wasn't making decisions. And you can't you can't play both sides when you're you're being bankrolled by Scientology. You're being bankrolled, and you go against the agenda, and you and, and, you know you sit on a case for two years, and then you prosecute. You know she there's a photo here of her with. Scientology's operative Taryn Tesuch, T-E-U-T-S-C-H, at, at an event in downtown Los Angeles. And, you know, even the police, like heads of police, they have events, you know, money is given, received between police, governor Scientology it ain't just for these little Christmas stuff and they, they wish they could be that innocent these people are rotten to the core so I just 
when, when you allow a cult to take control of, of your town and the police are involved and they're not supposed to prosecute or even take like a real report, they like alter it, they alter evidence, they deny some of the evidence exists. You have to get like a, a high, paid, high paid lawyer that has the balls to go after these monsters because mo a lot of lawyers won't. You gotta like have money. And you know, Church of Scientology, they mangled the IRS. They forced the IRS to make them tax exempt by having their little army of, of gang stalkers members to threaten lawsuits. And I'm sure at some point there was a meeting and Scientology said, look, do this and we'll pay you this. And then the IRS came out and said, oh, they just threatened to, you know, give us all these lawsuits. We can't handle it. So we gave in. You know what? It, I bet you if, if the IRS really had integrity, they would have just allowed these lawsuit, lawsuits to happen. I'm pretty sure there was, I wouldn't doubt that there was some money exchanged and then they were like oh well we had no choice we we're being threatened with all these lawsuits by their members anyways so you know and then you know now our, our, our they treat our president IRS treats our president like crap so anyways I just wanted to talk about that when you don't go when you're not 100% with the agenda with communists, you know, George Soros is trying to raise money to get her out because she slipped. She slipped. So they want her, they want her out. And um, she's in trouble by them. I'm sick of these, I, you know, I don't feel sorry for her because there's people like me that have been suffering from this cult. They don't do shit about it. <laughs> you know, they've even jumped on my car and tried framing me to put me in prison. And the person who jumped on my car said I ran him over. When she jumped on my car, my car was parked. It wasn't moving. I was trying to get out of my car because I was delivering groceries at the time. And she just started picking and all these little fights with me trying to create conflict and a video and some medical records showed that she lied. She lied about everything. This is what they this is what these gang stalkers do guys. They're paid to do this to people. And then my insurance company asks her what the 411 was and they warned her. If you're lying you could go to prison. Well she turned her story around because she didn't want to go to prison. She retracted it one way or another. So my insurance company, I don't ha I have a no, it's like a no fault accident. So she told the cops I ran her over. And luckily, thank God, our medical came and got her ass and they, they, they looked. You know, I've seen forensic files. They know if someone got hit, bitch lied. So this is how evil these people are, guys. Jackie Lacey, I don't feel sorry for you or your husband. You're dealing with karma. And um, guys, California is all jacked up with, with these um, corrupt you know, city state officials. All right, guys, that was my assessment on Jackie Lacey and how she bit two ends of the stick, the law-abiding side and the communist side. You mess with the, with the communist cult, they're going to come for you. They're going to come for you. 
and then they're gonna try to get you out and replace you with a better replacement who's gonna abide abide by the communist cult regime it's, it's just as simple as that guys it's not it's not rocket science so all these other media outlets saying she's law-abiding she didn't deserve this that's a lie that's a lie just like you won't write a story on what Scientology is doing to people, you sweep it under the carpet, you're part of the problem. You're a communist-owned media outlet. I'm not even going to go down the list and name them, or should I? Anyways, um, that's all I want to say, guys. And this directly correlates to why our world is so messed up right now. we got infiltration of communism and the mob just taking over our, our cities and communities and states like it's a Pac-Man. They're just having a heyday. All right, guys. Oh, I don't know if I said uh, her husband was charged with assault. I think a second, second degree assault, I think it was. But he's charged. So I don't, I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for her. She brought this on herself. Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon on the next video. Take care of each other.